Two days before President Biden is scheduled to look at the crumbling Carrollton power plant, we're learning new details about the explosion that knocked out a key turbine for running the city's drainage pumps. Our David Hammer from our Down the Drain team has the exclusive. Anyone who's had to light a gas stove knows how dangerous it can be. You turn the gas valve and the meter on, you go outside to talk to a neighbor, you walk back inside with a match or a lit cigarette and bad things happen. Shockingly, that's similar to what an incident report says led to a fiery explosion at the Sewerage and Water Board power plant in December 2019, knocking out gas-fired Turbine 5, which runs many of the city's drainage pumps. Engineer H.J. Bosworth read the report. These are all open. The first one is closed. He turns the first one on. There's a rush of gas. Well, the rest is history. In August 2020, the Sewerage and Water Board wrote its own report to the city council saying the explosion was due to, quote, mechanical failure and the Sewerage and Water Board was not at fault. But the incident report by consultants ABS Group says the opposite is most likely true. It's likely that the operator made an error. Very likely. But he's a human. I mean, we all are. It turns out there was no checklist for operators to follow to turn on Turbine 5 until after the explosion happened. Crews were busy Tuesday rebuilding Turbine 5, this time with a new system of automated controls and a detailed operational checklist. Everybody should have a checklist. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And going forward, it's nice to have a computer that checks us as we're doing what we're doing, making sure that we don't make a big bang out of making a mistake. Sewerage and Water Board spokeswoman Courtney Barnes says staff is being trained to use the new Turbine 5 control system now. She said the turbine should be back in service in mid-June. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. So we asked Barnes why the Sewage and Water Board told the city council it was a mechanical failure that caused the explosion, but didn't get an answer to that question. Uh, the agency told the council that a mechanical failure would help it get the insurance money it needed to fix Turbine 5.